Kevin Coleman, Weber's Grilling Expert. Today we have a very exciting topic and we're going to be discussing how to smoke on your charcoal grill. We're going to be using the two fire indirect method. Now before we get started, we want to make sure that we review our recipe for what kind of wood we're going to use and how much. Now when smoking on a charcoal grill using the indirect method, we recommend using wood chunks. If you don't have chunks, you can always use wood chips but you want to make sure that you soak those for at least 30 minutes because we want those to smolder throughout the cooking process. If you don't soak those, they're going to fire extremely quickly and you're not going to get a lot of smoke flavor. Now we don't need to soak wood chunks because we're not going to get any penetration into the wood, but we will get a nice prolonged smoke throughout the cooking process. Now let's set up our charcoal grill for indirect smoking. Light the charcoal. More often than not, you will need a small bed of charcoal for smoking so start with the chimney filled about halfway. The swinging handle above the chimney starter is there to help you lift and aim the chimney where you want it. Be sure to wear insulated barbecue mitts when handling the chimney starter. Also, make sure to sweep any ash that accumulates on the bottom of the bowl and leave the bottom vents open all the way. Pour your lit charcoal onto the charcoal grate or in the char basket. I'm going to be using two barbecue mitts because the chimney starter will be warm. Put the empty chimney starter on a heat proof surface away from children and pets. If the coals are not in a charcoal basket, use a long handled tongs to arrange them so that they cover one third or one half of the charcoal grate. It's okay if the coals are piled one or two coals deep, but no more than that. Remember, you will probably need medium or a low indirect heat, so start with a small amount of charcoal and add more later as needed. Now when smoking on your charcoal grill for over 30 minutes, we recommend using a water pan. And we're going to fill that 3 quarters of the way and place it on the empty part of the charcoal grate. Now if you want to enhance the flavor, you can always use beer, fruit juice or wine instead of the water. Fill the pan about 3 quarters of the way with water. The pan will catch any juices and fat from the food. Plus, the water will absorb and release heat slowly, evening out the temperatures and adding a bit of moisture to the smoking process. Preheat the grill. Now we're going to add our cooking grate to our charcoal grill. Now if you're using a hinge grate, make sure you put the hinge side over the charcoal. This will make it easier to add fuel throughout the cooking process. Then put the lid on the grill and open the top vent completely. Wait until the temperature reaches the right range for the recipe you are making. Keep in mind as the charcoal burns, the temperature will drop. When the temperature reaches the upper end of your desired temperature range, remove the lid and use a long handled grill brush to scrape off any bits and pieces of food that have been sticking to the cooking grate. Now that we've preheated our charcoal grill, we're now going to add our wood chunks or our wood chips. Add your chunks, and if you are using chips, they should be damp but not so wet that they could put out the fire. The damp chips will initially drop the temperature of the fire but the heat will recover once the chips begin to smolder. Put the lid on the grill and wait for the smoke to start pouring out of the grill. Open the lid and arrange the food on the cooking grate as the recipe suggests. Close the lid and position it so the vents are on the side of the grill opposite the charcoal. This will draw the heat and smoke over the food and out the vent. Now hopefully we've been able to teach you some great tips on how to smoke on your charcoal grill. A couple things to remember. If you're smoking for longer than a half an hour, you're going to have to add charcoal every hour on the hour in order to maintain temperatures inside your grill. Also, make sure you're sweeping the ash out of the bowl. This will help with the air circulation inside of your grill. And if you have any other questions, call our customer service at 1-800-446-1071, refer to your owner's manual, or find us here on Weber.com. And always, happy grilling.